Hi there, Capricorn, and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of February. First of all, let's see who you're showing up as today. The King of Pentacles. Um, yeah, that's pretty much you, ain't it? All right, King of Pentacles. Um, walking into this month, feeling pretty secure about something. Let's see what this has to say. Your own personal stability, some sort of power. Maybe you got money on the mind. All right. Okay, maybe this is about a decision. We got the Two of Swords. And we have the Three of Pentacles. I see. Uh, so maybe you're trying to make a decision here about something. You're facing a decision uh, and you don't know what to do this month. And you're you, maybe you're not getting any help from the people around you. Let's see here. I see. Yeah, this is different for you. I think that this is about making a decision, Capricorn, um, without the need of validation from other people. You are changing. I, I do believe that, that you're changing in how you make your decisions. And so maybe others are expecting you to make a decision based on um, how you've built your stability Built, st built up stability in your life up until this point um, and it's been changing you've been maybe changing so rapidly that other people are sort of looking at you like what are you doing what are you doing Capricorn all right so we have the knight of wands three of cups ace of pentacles and the emperor you have th I'll just say this you have three threes on the table it's a lot of threes um, three 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 you know that's the Holy Trinity um, communication with spirit I feel like you're definitely being um, guided towards something um, why else would you start to radically change how you think about uh, making some sort of decision about your own stability? Um, it might be that you are wanting to go off on your own. I get the sense that um, there's a lot of threes here and maybe you've been um, brought up in a very collaborative environment. Uh, maybe you've been doing some community work or working a lot with other people and now the decision is sort of um, to go off on your own. It's possible that um, that's why other people are sort of looking at you and saying, what are you doing? Because they might feel like you're leaving them behind a little bit. And I don't think it's your intention to leave anybody behind, but I do think that you are learning how to take back control of your life. You're wanting to seek some new opportunity. You want an adventure and no one's going to hand that to you. I think that you are collaborative in nature. I think you do want, you don't ever want to be solo or on your own, but in this life, we are all on a solo journey, right? And so we can't be tied at the hip to other people um, in our life as much as, you know, this is especially difficult if you have people in your life who have been there for you for, you know, since the beginning of a project, since the beginning of your business, since the beginning of, of something. Like when eras shift and move and, and time moves into the past, people come in and out of our lives. And this feels like one of those moments, Capricorn, where you're finding your own inner stability regardless of who is around you. It's not that you necessarily want to be alone, but I think you are changing. And so our circles change when we change. We do cut out, not even cut, I mean, oh, sure, cut, why not? Cut out people or simply uh, people become dissatisfied with you changing when it no longer serves their purpose or you're not fulfilling something 
some sort of role in their life, that's when other people can become dissatisfied with your growth. And so at that point, you do have to cut them out. It's not that you don't want to be collaborative. Because that's why there's so many threes here. You've got lots of social circles, Capricorn. I feel like you very easily move between circles and maybe you don't have like your core group of people. This is a sort of like a painful new beginning and it doesn't have to be painful. I think that depending on the day, it could be painful. You know, some days you wake up, it'll be easier. You'll feel invigorated and other days you might wake up and, and realize just how difficult this process of change actually is. I think you're definitely committed to this because you have your eye on the prize as in you're this month you're better able to identify what it is you're working toward and that is providing you with enough of the inspiration to actually go forward and make the changes that you need to see in your life. Absolutely. If you've been saving money it's because you have your eyes on let's say a big purchase that you want to make. And so I think that if you stay the course and understand why this change needs to occur and stick with it, with the ups and downs, it, it, I, it seems that you will get what you want with persistence. I think there's an important message here, again, of not isolating yourself. There will be a shifting of circles for sure. Um, but... When I, this, this might be a way to overcome the challenge of change is to seek out other people who are maybe going through the same thing or may feel similarly uh, to you during this time. Um, what else can I say? Um, show me more about this opportunity. What's on your mind? What is this new opportunity coming in here? Or what is it the opportunity that you have your your eyes set on. I'm really getting that this is something about um, how, something physical, like because it's the pentacles, how you relate to your world. Something about you, yourself, is changing. I don't know if you change something physically about yourself or this is maybe regarding to how you identify in the world, as in what you represent. Ace of Pentacles, the devil, that's you, King of Pentacles, that's you again, and the Queen of Wands. Wow. So Capricorn, <laughs> and this is so Capricorn too, the devil and the King of Pentacles and, and the Queen of Wands. A lot of people don't know this about Capricorn, but you are a sea goat. You have water in your nature there's the your the most intuitive of all the earth signs and i don't think people give capricorn enough credit for their intuitiveness and i think that you are now beginning to understand this deeper sense and it's leading you toward the opportunity okay the devil and the king of pentacles, I mean, both of these are telling me that this is, this is, you are in your essence. You are, this month, fulfilling some sort of destiny of what you're here to do and sitting in your power, in the seat of power. And you have, I think, two of cups underneath. Yeah, I mean, that's the truth of the soul's exchange. It's all about representation and how you're showing up in the world and how people are coming to understand you on some deeper level. In some ways, your social circles really do reflect your, some of your own qualities. And so it makes sense that while you're changing, your social circles are changing. And the opportunities that come with those circles and how you're showing up in the world does change the opportunities also that come into your life. And so the Two of Cups, I'll also say that a message that's coming in is that this month, I think you have a lot of influence on people. So I would just keep that in mind. Um, 
it might be with all of all of these social cards on the table that a lot of people may be vying for your attention and so your challenge becomes how do I decide who do I give my time to my resources to I think you have plenty plenty to go around but it will require um, and, and I do think you you're willing to you're, you have the willpower and the energy to pursue a lot of different avenues this month, but that doesn't mean that you are um, going to pursue them all. Like you're going to decide where you want to give your time to, and there's definitely things here I'm seeing you're going to just leave behind. Uh, show me the emperor in the outcome position. Queen of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Four of Cups. Hmm. I think that this is confirming for me that this month there will be um, a challenge of comfort like you will be challenged to get off that treadmill metaphorically speaking you're on the treadmill of change and you're running and you're running and you have so much energy and so many things are changing so quickly um, I think that your comfort level will start to decrease things are about to get very uncomfortable and I think that's going to challenge you from um, continuing on, I think you might want to fall back on some sort of comfort, go back to some some place of stability. And I think that that's okay to take a few days here and there to recuperate. But I think you really are meant to um, push and go as far as you can with this new opportunity. Something's going to show up. And so... Um, this really feels like, you know, they who fail most also grow the most. And, and so it's almost like fail fast. Seek out those moments of discomfort because that is evidence of growth. Okay, so let's see about the, um, the Four of Pentacles then. Five of Pentacles, King of Cups, and the Empress. Wow. Um, so in the past, the foundation of this entire reading, your motivation for change has been that first of all, you've you had been stuck in a bit of a lack mentality. Um, and so what that does for us energetically is that if we're holding on to something, um, to all everything that we have in our lives, everything around us, if we're like, if every moment of our time is scheduled, right? We have no free time. All of our time resources are eaten up by something we have a lack of time. Um, if we're always, um, you know, working every single day, every spending every minute working, um, we're doing that out of a lack mentality around money. Got to keep working, got to make the money. I don't have enough money, got to keep working. So whatever it is, time or money or um, whether whether you're holding on to an old idea around um, an institution, maybe it's something ab about your beliefs around society or something like that, this lack mentality, like the world would might not, just this belief that the world might not give you what you want, that sort of lack mindset is what's 
it, it, it's something that had to change. It, it just finally had to change. And I think that it started to change because you got more in touch with um, your emotions. Something got unlocked here and became potential for growth. So I don't know what you learned about yourself, um, you know, last month or in the last year. Um, but something here has definitely shifted um, because you have your sights set on other horizons. Again, I get a deep sense of adventure and I get a deep sense of a, a shift from a lack mindset into um, something a bit more resilient. It's almost like you've, in, over the last two years, you've endured or you've had to endure so much and you already do do that, honestly, just the nature of your sign. And that I think you stopped caring. <laughs> or not that you stopped caring, but more so that you've understood how to balance your emotions in the face of whatever situation that has come or is coming up for you. You've decided that you can turn any difficult situation into an opportunity for for growth and so in that sense you've transformed this lack mentality and and this I have to hold on to everything that um, comes my way now you've decided that it's okay to let some things go and that's what I mean like you don't care as much you're releasing um, the ego is releasing something about how your possessions or your how you spend your time or what you're committed to um, that was once like a sense of stability or if you know I'll say like a false sense like your sense of identity was external and now it is within you and that is the change that is leading to transformation and growth unprecedented and so I'm excited for you about what what this new opportunity could be. I think that this is a very exciting February reading for you, Capricorn. I hope that this helps. Um, definitely like and subscribe to the channel if you like this reading. And so hopefully I'll see you on the next one.